welcome back to my channel just want to give a quick shout out and say thanks so much for being the first to comment on my last video for today's video we're going to be going in with my square medium soft gel full nail covers um, I do cut them down so they don't stay this long but all I'm doing is going in and sizing them out and making sure that they fit my nails wall to wall as always these are available for purchase in my Etsy shop and I'll be sure to have the link down below Soft gel and full nail covers are perfect if you have problems shaping like I do. They just really make the process of applying nails so much quicker, so much easier, and so much faster. And we'll also be using my solid nail tip gel to apply them. So I love this product. Um, you guys know I love doing nails with poly gel, but this literally cuts the time down in half. I did speed up part of this video, but literally if you apply all 10 fingers, it takes no joke five minutes. So I love this product when I want to do nails, but I don't want to spend all day doing them. So yeah, I'm just going in and scooping out that product um, and then I apply it on there. This product is kind of like a tacky texture, like a tacky or like a putty type of texture. Um, so I love it. It's very movable. It's not slimy like a poly gel or gooey like a, like a gel. It also doesn't take very long to cure. Uh, when you apply it to your nails, you just want to make sure that you're scra scraping up any um, gel that gets around the cuticles before you cure. So here's what the nails are looking like. I always do my thumbs separately, but now I'm going in with this extravagant <laughs> nail cutter tool. I purchased this off of Shein. Actually, no, I purchased this off of Amazon. So I'll be sure to have the link down below, but it's amazing. It just helps make sure that when you cut your nails, they're all the same length. So 10 out of 10, this is definitely an essential that I recommend. Um, and now I'm going in and buffing out my nails. Since we're going to be doing um, a builder base gel polish on top of this, you just kind of want to make sure that you have no shine on your full nail cover. Well, these are soft gels, so it really doesn't matter that much. All right, so now we're going to go in and really just blend out those cuticles. This is a very important step that I recommend you not skipping. Um, but I'm going in and just drilling uh, with a ballpoint drill bit around my cuticles and just really blending those cuticles out. I think I used this uh, drill bit in a different head. Um, so I did go in with two different drill bits. It is tedious, this process, but like I said, I really recommend it because it just really helps make sure that your nails are blended.
Here I'm swishing out that drill bit and blending the cuticles even more. now I'm dusting off all of that product at this point you could also go in and wash your hands now I'm going in with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe and wiping my nails down I'm going in with an 80 80 grit nail file these are available for purchase off of Amazon and I'm just shaping my nails I like a really square look so that's the shape we're going for today Now this is like the secret product that really helps blend my cuticles. Um, I'm going in with the Young Nails Protein Bond. I use this in my prep and I'm just going in and blending those cuticles out even more. It just helps melt it and like put everything together. <laughs> but for my polish, I'm going in with this Milky White Nail Polish. This is, it says it's a gel polish, but it's actually more of like a builder base because it's a very thick um, polish and I'm going in and applying that to my nails. I'm kind of doing a builder base, like, you know, scooping or like a scrunching. I don't know what to call the technique method, but I'm also kind of going in with a light hand and applying this as if it were just a regular gel polish. So it just depends on the coverage you want. If you want it to be thinner, more transparent, then apply it as a gel polish. But if you want your color to be uh, more more deep then you would apply it in kind of like a literally like you're building like a builder method but yeah i did apply two coats of this also this gel polish is available for purchase off of amazon and the link will be down below Now I'm going in with a no wipe top coat. This top coat um, is actually a sample. I think I am gonna be adding a no wipe top coat to my Etsy shop. Um, so I'm just going in with this top coat and curing.
Now for the last and my favorite part, cuticle oil. I'm going in with my scent rose today. This is also available for purchase in my Etsy shop. Um, and just making sure that my cuticles are nice and hydrated. So here's the final look. Super basic, but also just a nice classic. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!